ঠিক আছে আর কিছু আর হচ্ছে যে Thank you.
Is this a perfect Calcutta biryani recipe? No, it's not. But it's very, very close. In our effort to make the perfect Calcutta biryani, we have realized that it requires a lot of time, patience and practice. So this is the best biryani that we can make at this point of time. Uh, think of this as our biryani version 1. There are various things to keep in mind when making a good biryani. Uh, it requires organization, it requires practice. The first thing that sounds very trivial is salt. Because salt is added to uh, different components of the biryani at different points of time, it's important that the final product is uh, correctly seasoned. So measure your salt properly when you're cooking. The second most important thing when making a biryani is to make sure that the ratio between the liquid and the rice and the mutton is correct. Uh, if the ratio goes wrong, your biryani will either end up becoming too wet or it will be too dry. So we would advise that you start out with the ratio of liquids to rice and mutton that we have shown in our video and then uh, modify it according to the quality of your rice and mutton. The third thing to keep in mind is to not go overboard with the amount of flavoring agents that you add to your biryani. The Calcutta biryani is extremely subtle in its flavors. While you will find a lot of people fighting over exactly what spices to put in their biryani, those things are not as important as the first two points we talked about. Just be extra careful when uh, working with the flavoring agents such as Kaura Jol and uh, Golab Jol, Mithathor because they are extremely potent and uh, can become overbearing when added too much. Start with the measures that we have given you and uh, go from there. Also, this is our special video in the series for Ramzan and Eid. Do keep in mind that if you're watching this video in the future, uh, check our website for any modifications to the recipe that we may have done.